We roll on on the Domino's Post Game Report. Adam Cavalier alongside senior guard Grant Teichman. Grant, tough pill to swallow today in a 60 or a 78-62 loss to Lenore Ryan. But yeah. uh, to hear Chuck Vinson tell it, some things were improved upon, uh, but turnover is still an issue for this team. What did you learn about yourself and the Eagles today? Uh, well, obviously it starts with me. You know, I had four turnovers. That's not like me or it's not supposed to be like me but um it's kind of a trend you've seen this year so i i gotta pick it up obviously to start um and then yeah i mean 17 turnovers is just too much you know they're a good team so you can't give them that many opportunities they're gonna hit shots and they did and um you know we uh we have to limit their opportunities as much as possible we didn't do that uh, defensively, it felt like you did do some good things. Uh, Jabril Jallo, Corey Thomas are two of the best drivers in the South Atlantic Conference. Uh, and drives really didn't happen for LR. They beat you with jump shots today. Uh, is that something you're willing to take? Yeah, well, we just talked about limiting variety. And, um, you know, some games we want to take away the three and force them to drive. And some games we want them force them to shoot and take away their drive. So, uh, you know, we... Gave up 14 threes, which is a lot, but if, if, if we take away their drives and you take away their twos and, you know, we didn't let them get to the free throw line, which is which is obviously a positive, um, you know, you give yourself a chance. Um, but like I said, you know, we just, gave, we just gave them too many easy ones with all the turnovers. Um, I think it's more about that than uh, in the half-court offense. Obviously, in the half-court offense, they did hit a lot of shots, but it was, it was, like you said, ones we were willing to give them and then take away the drive, which which is a positive. Uh, turn the attention to Fort Valley State out of conference matchup on Saturday. Uh, what's this team to do, need to do to get itself straightened out uh, and snap a three-game skid against the Wildcats? Uh, we just got to find ourselves, find our, our identity. You know, find identity and stick to it. What do we do? And then you stick to that and you make teams game plan around that. Um, right now, uh, we aren't doing a good job of, of adjusting in games. You know, and, and when we take a punch and then. Uh, we also, you know, we just we got to find something that works and stick with it. And I think, you know, we've seen some stuff work, and, and then we get away from it. So um, just consistency and, um, you know, not letting these teams go on these three- or four-minute runs, uh, which, which inevitably, you know, end up really hurting us. You talk about that. There was a stretch about the final – really the final eight minutes of the first half. Lenore Ryan outscored you 18-5. to five. Can you pinpoint something that happens? Uh, Wingate did the same thing yeah. uh, Saturday, a 28-10 uh, run to close the half. What's well, what's happening on those? I, I think initially it's turnovers and, and easy buckets, and then we're just not responding, um, and, and we're not locking in, or we're uh, we're not throwing that. You know, we we take a punch, we're not throwing one back, and, and we got to do a better job of that. Um, but you know, Saturday can't come soon enough. Get rid of this three game skid um, and, and just move on. You know, this game's over with. So just start working um, f towards the future and getting better and getting back in the win column. Grant, thanks for the time. We'll talk to you then. Yeah, appreciate it, Kev. That is Carson Newman Senior Guard Grant Teichman. That does it for us here on the Eagle Sports Network. We're back on the air Saturday against Fort Valley State.